Welcome to our garden. So here we are going to utilize our worm castings that we made, call that worm poop, our compost, off of our continuous flow system that we just cut. So what I got here is a tea bag. I actually bought this off of, uh, I believe it was Amazon or eBay. You can go to your local hardware store. Um, I go to our local Ace Hardware store. They've got um, paint strainer bags for five gallon buckets. They're literally a few bucks and you can wash them out, reuse them a pile. They work really slick as well. But what we're doing is we're gonna make this into a liquid product to water our plants. As you can tell, our tomatoes are looking a little bit sad. We've been really dry here this year. So what I got is our worm compost. This is the stuff we cut off the bottom of our worm bay earlier, that eight by four by eight foot uh, continuous flow system. Beautiful stuff, you smell it. Oh, it just smells like timber soil, love it. Makes a guy feel good. What we're doing is we take this, we put it in this tea bag, got our five gallon bucket here. We're gonna water these plants up. Um, we just basically dunk it in here. And uh, you know, when we get done, it's just gonna look like muddy water, you know? And what we'll do is we'll just kind of wash it out. We're trying to wash the microbes off of the compost. So we're still gonna have pieces of wood chip in there and stuff. And uh, when we're done with this, we could actually take this and throw it back on top of our compost and recycle it back through and let it break down even farther. So uh, I believe I had someone tell me that you should wash it like this, like just up and down through it, let it rinse through roughly 30, like 30 times to do it, just to let it kind of breathe and uh, wash through and just, you can massage it as well, trying to get all the microbes off it. When I talk about that, I mean like your fungi, your bacteria, uh, protozoa, your, your, your small microscopic microbes that are really good and they're essential for your soil. So behind me is our garden. This is, we can't really call it an organic garden because it's not a certified organic garden, but we don't use chemicals in our garden. None of these plants behind us have seen fertilizer. We use strictly uh, worm compost like this. Uh, we use a little bit of uh, calcium. You can use like a white lime calcium. Plants really need calcium. And uh, I like molasses. So something like this, I'd take a couple tablespoons of molasses and put in here. Pure cane molasses. And basically the sugar feeds your bacteria. Molasses also has a lot of micronutrients in it. I'm not talking a full-fledged fertilizer program, but it's got some micros in it. So yeah, you're just washing it. Get your hands dirty. These microbes are good for you, so you can get them on your hands. We've been playing in dirt for thousands of years as humans, so it's it's not a bad thing to get your hands dirty and get some get some dirt and mud on your hands. So yeah, here's our finished product. Like I said, it's muddy water, kind of like chocolate milk. It's good stuff. Our plants love it. Our tomato or our potatoes here, I put them in catalytic tanks. These are actually a mineral tank that you can use for cattle that they originally come and stuff. So we refurbish them. What I like about this is I put my potatoes in there. At the end of the season, I just dump it out and my potatoes are, I don't have to dig for them. But we had some potatoes start to dig out of the, come out of the ground. So we actually took some of our uh, worm compost and covered it up, but they're looking pretty dry. Them little buggers need a drink of water. And I like having it below the line so that way I can just put the water in there. I don't have to worry about it running out. Give them a little drink. We got our tomato plants here. Uh, we got tomatoes everywhere, and I'm going to tell you, and I'll be honest with you, this is a farm garden, okay? I farm full-time. I got hundreds of acres I'm running, corn, soybeans, alfalfa, buckwheat, cereal rye. I've got cattle. I've got pigs. My wife works a full-time job, and we got two kids. So this garden is not a picture-perfect, beautiful garden like what you see in all the videos and movies and stuff, okay? It's simple. We got black landscape paper down. My parents put this down years ago we bought the farm this last year from my parents this was weeds growing up because there's holes in it so there's weeds growing up we cleaned off took the lawnmower mowed through it came in with the weed whip weed whipped off any other weeds everywhere there was a hole we shoved the tomato plant put a little bit of compost extract a little squirt of molasses calcium just something simple but didn't even use fertilizer no chemicals we got some weeds on the outside they're starting to come in i took the weed whip whacked them off um we got tomatoes just everywhere yellow ones orange ones red ones potatoes we got pumpkins in back they're my son's pumpkins he loves pumpkins started with these i think dad made them a few years ago they work really good if we got like a tomato plant 
put it over top, protect it from the rabbits and stuff, eating it for the first couple weeks till it explodes and gets big. But uh, yeah, we just throw them off to the side. Our cages, yeah, they worked okay. Some of them are falling over. I come in here every week with the weed whip, weed whip around this stuff, pull out a couple foxtails. It's a farm garden, but our yield is phenomenal. We made piles of salsa here about three days ago. My wife made uh, pasta sauce last night on tomatoes. We got, you can grow piles of tomatoes with worm casting and simple stuff without having to buy commercial fertilizer. Um, the plants, like you just look in here, I got, we haven't picked tomatoes in two days, I apologize. But man, beautiful, beautiful tomatoes. And you, the green is covering it, but you pull this away and we have got tomatoes everywhere. Over here, these things are monsters. Big old tomatoes. That one will continue turning red once we pull it and we put it on the counter in the house. So, same with this one here. Huge tomatoes. Didn't even have to fertilize them. Uh, tomatoes, tomatoes didn't use the cages, but they're just kind of pooling everywhere. Peppers all over. We've been harvesting a pile of peppers here lately. Um, really nice, beautiful one there. We'll harvest him. He kind of fell off anyways. So, beautiful peppers. Love it. For what you could call a quote-unquote, quote, kind of an organic garden. Pumpkins and back. Pumpkins love calcium. So, you know, we've been giving it the worm casting. This is kind of what we water it with when we remember to a couple times a year. These little yellow tomatoes, we haven't really picked a whole lot of them. They're kind of everywhere. Like I said, pumpkins love calcium. I've heard of guys using milk and watering them with a little bit of milk get calcium to them. Milk's also got good bacteria in it. Um, we did not do that though. Um, but we've been watering those with that stuff. We did give them a little bit of like calcium lime. Um, you can buy that in a hardware store, uh, bags of that, super cheap. Put it out in your garden. Lime is essential for plant growth. Uh, lime, calcium, I should say, that's in that white lime. Put a little bit of that out there and really just watered them. Uh, we're later in the season now, they are starting to die, but they're still gonna be an awesome crop. Like I said, we come out here, we weed whip it. The black paper does a good job of keeping the weeds at bay for the most part. Um, and yeah, we just come out here, throw a little bit of, uh, you know, liquid worm poop, you could call at it. And uh, it's easy to handle, doesn't stink, it's full of beneficial stuff and it really makes a garden explode. So yeah, here's our farm garden, pretty simple, nothing fancy, but man, it produces some awesome produce for our family. Yep. Okay, there's some more over here. You want mommy to help you get them? Yep, right over here. Look. <laughs>